Gatto, what did you make of that workout? Well, for a pre-season game, it was um, very entertaining. Uh, what pleased me was uh, they, they kept good shape um, for you know large parts of the game, which is what we've tried to work on. Um, and the volume of chances and, and the quality of the chances that we created was pleased me the most. You know, we had three really good chances first half, um, and you know a couple of great chances second half as well. Didn't deserve to lose the game, but as a workout and an exercise, it gave me a lot of satisfaction. So I'm very, very pleased, not only with the, the quality of performance so early, but the players' attitude has been fantastic this week. Quite competitive for a, for a pre-season game as well. Yeah, um, I think Sturmgratz are well ahead of us in terms of preparation. I think their season maybe starts next week, which is fine. Um, that's why we were able to use the 20 players. You know, we wanted everyone to get a, a bit of experience and a bit of football while they're here. But um, you know things will start stepping up now. Paderborn on Monday, maybe a, a step up in quality, which is good. What we're looking for, and obviously we'll still work on conditioning the players between now and, and we go back on Tuesday. Happy with what you saw from the new players? I thought Gary Medine was excellent, really, really good, and Derek was very sure-footed. Um, read the game very well. Medine was a great focal point for us in the first half. A lot of good stuff came through him, and he will get better. There's the scoop there, the scoop and Derek. And Ben was fantastic, you know, made a couple of great saves and it's, it's very, very early, it's so early. But um, very encouraging signs. Now I'm hoping that's not a false dawn, you know, I want, to, I want it to continue and obviously I want us to get better and progress as the pre-season goes on. But they're in a good place at the minute. Has the training been so far in Austria? Is that, is that as of what you'd expect? Very good. You know, we have worked them hard. There has been a lot of physical work. I, 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 you know, I want to get them fitter. The players want to get fitter. Their attitude has been there's been no complaints from them, and everything we've asked them to do, they've done, and they're getting stronger, and they will get stronger between now and, and August 8th. I'm not saying they'll peak around about August 8th. It'll probably take them three or four games to get really at the at the level that they want to be at. But um, yeah, we have worked them hard, and um, they will feel the benefit of that as we go on. Just a quick word on on ins and outs. You've obviously brought Derek in. What you know? What do you kind of expect from him going forward? He's got a bit, a bit of adapting to do, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a European style game tonight, so it'll have suited him. It'll be interesting to see how he adapts now to the pre-season games we've got back in England. He comes up against the more English style of football and the more physical approach. You know, he, he looks, you know, slenderish, but he's very strong and um, athletically very good, comfortable on the ball, quick, um, headed it well tonight and read the game very well. So. Yeah, the signs are very encouraging there. Um, so I'm very pleased with the, the new boys. As I'm pleased with the, the likes of Spearing, Prattley, you know, Mark Davis looked excellent tonight. Um, I, I, you know, there's not one I could really say was poor, and that's not very often you can say that. You know, going into your first game of pre-season, you still expect some ins and outs between now and August 8th? Yeah, I think we'll have to. You know, there's no question that we have to bolster the squad in certain areas, and um, it's just a, a juggling act. You know, we don't have finances at the minute but um, we are working within those limits and um, I think we've, we've done okay so far with three decent players and who think will make us better and there will be more out there I'm sure.